we're in Home Depot. We're getting the moving process started, okay? Let's talk about how these boxes ain't gonna fit in the car. Because we decided that we wanted to get rid of our couch. The master bedroom. This is the final goodbye. This that FedEx. Yes, for the patio. Yo, the grass yes. for the patio, definitely. Oh it's fifty dollars each. Yep. That's not bad. I wonder if you have the same though. What Should you mean? Just get it. I can't fit it in my car. Why not? Because it's lay down um, through the trunk like we usually do. You know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go get a basket. Yeah. Okay, we're in Home Depot. We're getting the moving process started. Okay. Um, I don't know what day it is. Wednesday. March. What's today? Wednesday, March thirteenth. It's six forty-four, and we're in Home Depot. We're getting the moving process started. Like right now because we move in less than 20 days maybe less than 15 at this point but I gotta go find a basket we came here for boxes we came here for boxes and then we also are seeing some other stuff that we could use um, for the new place renter friendly of course um, I could possibly do a few videos on that whole process doing DIY projects renter friendly so yeah, let's go find a basket. Bigger? Good job, my love. Dude. <laughs> Let's talk about how these boxes ain't gonna fit in the car. We can get some string or something and wrap it on the top. Or we can fit it in the door. We're trying to fit it in the door.
Oh my gosh. Okay, hey, Tetris. That's what all them years for them made you do. Well, at least those are the bigger ones. Yo, mirror. Wait, wait. Hold on. Girl, we're gonna be riding with the with our <laughs> Can I do that one? Let me see how it goes No. Girl, we is not about to be able to drive like this. <laughs> Y'all, let's talk about how I got me and Mrs. Make It Happen. <laughs> this small ass car, and she done folded these boxes up like a prank. I know that's right. <laughs> These some big ass boxes. I'm crying. And the fact that I'm just the spectator <laughs> cracking up in this now, parking lot. Girl, I don't think anything gonna fit up in here. A bottle. Oh, yeah, that. That'll fit up in here. I can put that right on my lap. Anyway, y'all, I just had to show y'all that because now she did that. Gonna always make it happen. That's why I said I got me and Mrs. Make It Happen. I'm gonna try it until it really don't work. It gotta just. Cause one thing about it, my baby, my baby used to play Tetris a lot. Okay, so she know how to she know how to make it work, make it wiggle. Hey, cause the one thing about it, I told her I would have went in there and asked her for some string and tied these boxes up on top of the car like a Christmas tree. I was not about to play them games. I would, I would not be playing Tetris with these boxes in the parking lot. <laughs> I gotta be quick. <laughs> Put them on top of the car. <laughs> I'm crying. Anyway, yeah. So we got one more stop and then we're gonna be at the house. <sighs> I told you guys the moving process is gonna get started quick, fast, and in a hurry. So we got the boxes, we got the bubble wrap. <sighs> and it's about to be time for us to get down and go through all the closets. I have to look on Amazon and find a paper shredder so we can go through all our papers and get all that out the way. Um, yeah, so she got the little wrap stuff to wrap the chairs and the table. And then I have that cubby in the closet that I'm going to have to wrap as well. If I can figure out how to take it apart, I don't know if I can though. Because that would definitely be easier. But luckily it's not that heavy. So. Yeah y'all. That was funny. That was real funny. But I will see you guys in the next clip. I told y'all this vlog. So I'm about to close this portion of the vlog out. We'll see y'all when I see y'all. I told y'all this vlog is going to be all over the place. Because every weekend we're going to be doing something different. Pertaining to moving. So. This was the first segment of our moving vlog, and I will see you guys in the next clip, whenever that will be. Bye! Good morning, you guys. Today is, first of all, let me just say, let me just put it out there. If you hear my stomach, just know I'm hungry. <laughs> Today is March 16th. Um, Saturday, March 16th, and it is 9 in the morning, 9.21 to be exact. Um, I'm doing skincare, just brush my teeth and all that good stuff. I'm about to do my hair and my makeup and just get ready for the day. I wanted to start off.
just started this video off to just give the rundown and update you guys. So we have already got approved. We have already talked about the floor plan we wanted. Um, and thanks to that nature today, we do our tour of the place and you know, we're going to start finalizing and signing lease and all that good stuff. So that is super exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, we have a lot of things coming after this point. Things are going to move quick. These are, I feel like things are going to move pretty quick. We already got somebody in place to help us as far as movers go. Because when we moved in here, like, still when we're in quarantine, but towards the end of it, when we moved into this place, we really didn't have much. But we've been here for about three years, so, um, you know, now we've accumulated more stuff. And we were able to do the first move by ourselves, but this one, uh-uh. Absolutely not. So, we are movers. We are setting that up. Now, we're at the point of clean out things, throw things away. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do with the furniture. We definitely want to start brand new in our apartment, but obviously, being realistic, we do have to take some things from here just until we upgrade and get new things. So, that is the plan as far as like the couch and all that good stuff whatever we can still use obviously we're going to take it and use it but for this new place we really wanted to focus on having all new like appliances furniture all of that good stuff we um have a lot to do we have to go through like all of our mail and paper shred that stuff and I ordered a um, paper shredder I got a notification that something was delivered but when I check the order status it says it's late so hopefully that is what came and we have to go through all of our mail, old mail and all that, shred that. We have to go through our closet, take out all the clothes and stuff that we're not bringing that we don't want. We have to wrap all the furniture just to make it easier for the movers and stuff to just take it and put it in the truck. Just like basically the prep work. actually moved in on the 5th I want to say and we're super 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 excited about that so we have literally about two weeks to get everything together Hey vlog, it is currently Sunday, March 17th, um, welcome back to another episode or another day of the moving vlog. We are currently about to go look at some furniture, so couch, because we decided that we wanted to get rid of our couch, and then I also want to look at a vanity for me because I just never had a place to just set my makeup and just have a designated spot for my makeup. It's just always in a makeup bag. So that would be nice and convenient for me to just have an actual place to do my makeup. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to take you guys in here with me and we can see what we'll be able to see and see if we like anything. My girlfriend has her mindset on this couch real bad. And y'all, I know y'all can barely see me because the 
light, but I'll see you guys in just a second. Toodaloo. Mm. I don't know. I like this. I like this one. Yeah. Okay, so and that was my thing, it and it down. wasn't making me. It wasn't making me feel comfortable. comfortable because the fast talking, the trying to over talk, the trying to hurry up. Like, oh yeah, come on, let's go sign this, and you just sign yeah. this, and it, it was I just like, down. okay, too much is going on right now, and I'm trying to process. And then you hand me this paper and tell me put all my information on it after I you know. just try to talk hella fast. Yeah, it I was know. Like, That's why I was like, well, if you're no. not ready to credit check, it looks like you need the social work. Exactly, and then when I'm reading down further and further, and it's talking about your license, your social security number, and your but it's very, but that's the thing. Like if you're not, if you're not doing a credit check, they trying to they trying to get all the information that they can have of you to come after you basically if you don't pay. So you have to put the other stuff if you're not going to do a credit check. Yeah, that's essentially what that's about. I get that, but it was just, to just deduct the shit out your account if you're not taking it. Yeah, you, don't, you know. Hey vlog. So. We just left this little furniture place. Yeah. <laughs> it was just given, I don't, it was like three men working there. It was given like, it was given like the chosen bodyguards from a cartel or something. Like it was like, they did not look like they needed to be working there. And it just wasn't, you know, whatever. But my girlfriend ended up, you know, arranging to get her couch that she wants. I didn't end up getting the vanity or whatever because I have a desk at home and I have this mirror um, that i seen on Amazon that I'm just going to get and then I can just put that on top of that desk because there's no point in me buying a whole new desk when I have a perfectly fine one that I use. Um, we just might do like a little DIY with like some contact paper if I want to change the color or if I just want to do white and make it like a glossy kind of white. I don't know we'll see we'll see when we get there but we're leaving we left we just left the furniture place and now we're on to get some food because I'm hungry um yeah that's about it as far as moving is concerned so I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys if anything else happens but for now, I feel like that is probably all that's going to happen for this segment of the moving situation until we get back home and if we decide to do some stuff around the house. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Saturday, March 23rd. I did not know, I recently found this out not too long ago, that Zara has a home, um, a home department section, whatever, it's only online. So you're not gonna see it like in stores, and I mean, unless where you live has a home part of Zara, if that makes sense. But I recently found that out online. I downloaded the Zara app, and they have a home section. So you can find decor, um, just like tables, like little small pieces of furniture, couches, chairs, lamps, like really cute aesthetic things too, might I add. I love it. And it's definitely cheaper than CB2 and all the like, you know, higher priced furniture places. So I definitely will be on there to find some pieces and I will share that with you guys as we get to that but i am about to do a closet clean out i'm gonna bag up most of my clothes on a hanger and just get everything ready to pick up and move 
out of here. That should be a pretty quick process after I get rid of everything else that I want to get rid of. And everything is going to be condensed into bags. If you guys have not seen that hack or trick on TikTok, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that right now. This is just going to be so much simpler and easy to move majority of my clothes that are on hangers to our new apartment and they're still going to be on the hanger so that's going to be easy i can just take them off and then hang them up and remove the bag when we get to our new place so continue to watch and maybe you guys can learn a little something if you don't know about this tip and trick to moving because we did this when we first moved and it just made everything so 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 much better i plan on getting new hangers too when we move as well so these are aren't the hangers that are going to stay on here when we move into our place. Um, it's just for the relocating of our clothes. So yeah, stay tuned and yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. Good day mama, safe to take a step out. Get some head now, let your edge out. To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? Honey, where's now? Grab me from the hook. You, so you, so you, baby, baby, baby. Okay. These are all going to get bagged up because I'm not going to wear them. What I'm leaving out is like my robes that I use to get ready in. Those are all going to stay out. Um, and if I can think of anything, that's, anything else that's going to stay out, then I will show you. But you guys are just going to see the process of me bagging everything up because getting these ready to move on out okay I should have keep from losing the best of me I will be that I As you guys can see, we have three bags of clothes. This is stuff that I'm probably not going to bring out, not going to wear. And then we have these over here, which I'll place in the front because those are probably the last to bag up. I have also some stuff that's sitting on my floor to hang up. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on hangers and hang them up with this stuff. Because it's probably stuff I'm going to reach for that I'm going to grab that I want to wear. Um, I have so many extra hangers and we do have laundry and stuff going. So that's also some stuff I'm going to have to put up. Um, but as for the last bit of clothes, this is what we have. Our jackets of choice. One of our robes. Um, I could probably put some other ones up, but I'm just going to leave my robes out because I like my robes. If you know me, if you watch me, then you know I love my robes. So. I'm going to leave my robes out. Those are going to be the last to be put away. This is just so convenient. We learned this when we moved the last time. It's like just picking up these and transporting them. And then when you get to the new place, be able to hang it back up on the hanger, take the bag off. It's just so much easier. Hey, y'all. So now we're on the floor. I'm about to go ahead and fold these down and I got this from Target I plan on getting different um cubby things maybe I may I may not we'll just see how it looks in our new closet um but you just take out the little bottom cardboard piece and it folds down by itself and then I just take the little cardboard piece and basically slide it back in here so it stays with whatever cube it goes to when it been a few hours, been a few days. only been 
days, but it feel like months We gone for a year, only go like once Life move fast These are the bags These right here are clothes that I'm gonna keep out Cause I might wear in the time frame In between us, you know, moving and all that Cause obviously I need clothes to wear um, and then this last little, this last little section of clothes are clothes that are probably going to be ready to bag, but I'm just going to wait until laundry and all that is done to add some more stuff to that so I can bag them all up together. And, oh, child, I'm out of breath. So yeah, that's the progress so far. Good morning vlog. As you can see, or if you can't tell, I just woke up. It's Sunday, March 24th. It is currently 9.48 in the morning, obviously. And I don't know where I left off yesterday. So I cleaned out my desk in my room. That's gonna be used for my vanity in the new place. Um, and then I went through these drawers right here and emptied all of these out. Um, I have piles of trash, piles of stuff I'm giving away, piles of stuff I'm throwing away. And now I have to go through underneath my sink and this drawer over here. And putting stuff that I'm taking in a box. So this is my box. I have to open it up and then tape the bottom of it. So, I mean, obviously I can start setting stuff in there. So, yeah, we're getting right to it. Getting right to it because we don't have that long. And we need to get all this stuff done. Like, ASAP. Been a few hours, but it feel like days Only been days, but it feel like months
At least they worries right now. Now how he gonna get out? Alright, how you gonna get out? Oh wait. You gotta get out. Okay. <laughs> oh the plastic, the plastic. 
girl <laughs> you just be trying to freak people out over the smallest stuff sitting on these damn near table is gone oh my god we don't have anything y'all look at my head we don't have anything in here like we're sitting on the floor nobody have these chairs but <sighs> this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all. Everything is empty and we are off to the new place. Everything is gone. This was my bathroom. My room, closet, storage, the pantry, the kitchen, dining area, living room, as you guys seen already. And then the master bedroom. This is the final goodbye. 